Well, hello again, Internet. Corinne here, and you're watching a very special edition of Corinne vs. Starbucks. That's right, Starbucks has a brand new beverage that they are shilling out to the masses, the Witch's Brew Frappuccino. I kind of have an idea of how they achieved this beautiful color, but I'm not really sure what the other ingredients are. So we're gonna go to Starbucks, get ourselves a little Witch's Brew Frappuccino, and figure it out. Traffic Lido Chinjo. Go Maximus! Wow! See, I did it! Look at her. So satisfied with herself. This is what Ben does every single day. Will you go get my drink for me? No! Are you gonna come in with me at least? Oh, can't forget this. Oh, no, no, I'm definitely not going in with you now. I'm gonna do the Witch's Brew Frappuccino. No sh huh? Awesome, thank you. So beautiful. Mission accomplished! So this is the Frog Spawn, which Looks like it's chia seed in possibly like a matcha syrup of some sort. I'm thinking the purple comes from freeze-dried dragon fruit powder. I know. And this is matcha. Not matcha more to it than that. All right, let's give it a little taste test, shall we? Hmm. I hate chia seeds. I really want to like them because they're like a superfood and shit, but they just like, they're really weird. It's really weird to suck it up in your straw. It tastes very orangey too. The flavor is like orange sickle. So that's weird. Ah, it's really sweet. Does it have caffeine in it? No. What? It's just like a fancy little drink. That's fing stupid. No. Are chia seeds caffeinated? No. Garbage. Let's try to recreate this thing on our own. I don't think you should be spending six dollars. Six dollars! <laughs> On these things. <laughs> 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 oh, okay. So after perusing the ingredients list from the Starbucks website, I found that spirulina extract was used for the green, not matcha. But I'm gonna go ahead and try both anyway. Let's go shopping. Good stuff. Wow. Straight up. All right, I think I have everything we need to make a delicious witch's brew cappuccino. Frappuccino, what? Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is add some chia seeds to a bowl. Then I'm gonna add a little bit of water and let them soak for a while. And while that's happening, we can make our frog spawn simple syrup. It's pretty simple. You just boil equal parts of sugar and water together, add some spirulina and whisk it. Whisk it good. While that cools, I'm gonna make another batch of simple syrup and add a tablespoon of our orange flavor to it. Orange you glad? This is orange flavored. No? Yeah, it's pretty confusing to me too. This is gonna go into our milk mixture eventually. And uh, look at these things. It's like food from an alien planet or something. So gross, so gelatinous. Perfect for frog spawn though. See, this is why I don't like this stuff. Yeah, we're adding some of that to a squeeze bottle and then adding some of our cold green simple syrup and giving it a good shake. All right, let's test it out in a glass, shall we? Yes, very frog spawny. Yum. And now time to mix together our potion. You're gonna need your cauldron for this. Some ice, a little bit of milk, a shot of our orange flavored syrup, a couple scoops of freeze dried dragon powder, a few drops of Felix Felicis because we're gonna need all the luck we can get to make this taste good. A squeeze of the tears of demonetized YouTubers for a dose of reality. A little pinch of the Hollow Witch's ashes to keep us young at heart. And a lock of Shane Dawson's hair for some extra views. Lastly, the incantation. Starbuscus Witch Brews Us. And yes, voila, we have ourselves a no, no, actually, we're gonna have to put all this in the blender because I haven't quite learned the blending spell yet. Woo, and here we go. And yeah, this is definitely more pink than I intended, but nothing a little butterfly pea flower tea won't fix. Yes, look at this beautiful purple color. Okay, things gotta move fast at this point. Squeezing some frog spawns into my cup. And it's totally sanitary to do this with your fingers, by the way. Now adding my purple potion, topping with some whipped cream, and lastly, sprinkling a little matcha on top. Wait, is that too matcha? 
Wow, this looks pretty dang good. And all done without artificial color. Thanks, Mom. It's alive. It's alive. And now for the taste test. It's definitely a lot less sweet than the Starbucks version, and I kind of really like it. It's not bad, y'all. It's not bad. I think this is finally a Corinne versus Starbucks win, for real. Well, I think that just about does it for this video. As always, make sure to subscribe, hit that like button, and make sure to have a happy Halloween.